Hey guys, Protest HD here, and this is Magix Vegas Pro 15. So when you first actually look at Magix Vegas Pro 15, you actually see a big facelift here. There's obviously a different look to it. They changed and rearranged some things here. Nothing necessarily big. So you can actually change this theme here. It's pretty simple. You just go to options, preferences, go to display, and you can actually change the interface type by just selecting anyone you want. You can go to medium, light, and white. So in order to actually change it, you just select it, click apply, and then okay. Then you exit out of Vegas Pro 15, and then you open it again, and it should be good. It's actually going to tell you that. So let's say we want the medium theme. You just click apply. Now it's just telling you it must shut down and be restarted before actually taking an effect. So you just click OK and click OK again and just exit out. Now I'm just going to reopen it. Obviously, as you can see, there's a new splash screen that also comes with Vegas Pro 15. When you start it up, it actually looks way better and more modern actually than 14. So as you can see, this is the medium theme which is medium in color. That's not only what you can do. You can actually do a lot more than you think. So you can actually add clips here. You can just drag the clip straight to the timeline. Just click no. And then it actually, it'll actually add the clips to the timeline. There's the modern interface that comes with the software. There is faster rendering. So if you were to render out a video, it would be way faster. I'll make a video on that later and I'll actually compare both of them. There's also the hamburger bar, which is new. So I'm going to show you guys the hamburger bar. It's here. You just click more here. It's called the hamburger bar. You can edit the visible button set. So you just click that and the buttons you see here are basically the buttons you can edit. You can just basically hide all and click OK. And now you have no buttons there. You can actually click the hamburger button again, go to that, and then I'm just going to re-enable them right like so. But yeah, it's pretty useful if you ask me. So a new timeline redesign was obviously with Vegas. So all the timeline elements now look a little bit different. They actually show little previews here. I don't know if they actually did that in the other one. Don't really remember that much, but they probably did. So now you have actually the video preview and trimmer all in one. So you have here, which gives you the trimmer and it gives you the preview here all in one. So yeah, so you can see the project media Explorer, media generators, all of this is not different. I mean, it's not going to confuse you if you used Sony Vegas Pro 14. So something that's really cool with this Vegas Pro 15 is that you can go to file and just click share online. You can basically upload to Facebook, Vimeo, or you can upload it to YouTube. So some improvements with hardware wise, they actually updated it. So now you get acceleration, better Nvidia card support improvements. So if you have an Nvidia graphics card, you'll have basically a better time using Sony Vegas. Also there's quick sync video support. So all of this will help you when you use Vegas Pro 15. All your previous plugins from Vegas Pro 14 actually come to Vegas Pro 15. So yeah. Also when you render, like if you were to render as, so when you actually go to render as here, so obviously as you can see, there's a new menu here and it actually looks more modern and it's actually more easier in my opinion to understand than the previous one from Vegas Pro 14. So here it is. It just gives you basically here are the formats and it tells you on the other side everything. So let's say all of your templates, all of your render templates from Vegas Pro 14 are actually imported to Vegas Pro 15 for you. So anything you see here or anything from Vegas Pro 14 is going to be here. So like if you have anything. So anyways, guys, there was not that much to Vegas Pro 15. And in my opinion, if you want to pay to upgrade, it's really not necessarily worth it. But I mean, if you have the money, then you can go ahead and do it. Um, I would just stick with Vegas Pro 14. These are not necessarily big changes. This could have been, I guess, done in an update, but I guess they wanted to put it in a new version. These aren't basically big, kind of a waste. But anyways, if you like the more modern interface, just go ahead and do it. Obviously, you can see some colored icons up here, basically some colored buttons and whatnot. If you like that, then go ahead, upgrade. Um, it's just more modern, to be honest. That's really the big change here. But yeah, anyways, upgrade if you want. It's really your opinion. Me personally, I would just stick with Vegas Pro 14. Anyways, this was Protest HD. Like, subscribe for more. Peace.